Yeah, I totally agree. We talked in the past and I told you that I have a very good friend from from England and he asked me, what do you have there? Do, do you have like oil? Like what's going on that everybody's talking about? What's so special in Israel? And, and I, I thought about it, like why, why really it's happening? And then I, 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 some of the things that you said came up in, in the talk that I talked to him and, and what you said about the culture is, um, is the way that people think interparallel. So they're interparallel in, in their in, inner heart because they want to change because they are not stuck in the, they don't have that much a uh, history within the, the nation, not within the, the... they're not settled. When yeah. you're settled, you're comfortable. When you're comfortable, nothing much, not, nothing is really moving. When yeah. you're uncomfortable, when you're in the, your comfort zone, uh, you know, and everything is, it's pretty much okay. Then, 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 then nothing really changes when you're, when you always, you know, as I, as I said, mission driven, driven by, by mission driven by change, then, then you always innovate. You know, and yeah. always and, move forward. And you always like Israelis always have ideas what could be done better, and they always know better. It's like they don't question anything. I know, or at least, or at least they think they know better. <laughs> they no, think, I have a very, <laughs> of course. <laughs> I have a very interesting. When I give the talks, I have a very interesting slide that presents that um, the PISA exams presented presented this very interesting fact that um, on the math exams. Israel is is among is is around the number of th number thirty in the ranking, which is very bad. But yeah. in the same exam, it was a question about how confident you feel about answering most difficult <laughs> questions. Oh. And even though that by the fact uh, Israel is not the smartest, by fact we're not, uh, we ranked first by far from every other country. <laughs> and I think this is the kind of the the essence of this kind of innovation mentality of this self-confidence of, of you know I, even if i don't know i will eventually figure out yeah. how to do it so i yeah. think this is kind of the special thing um which is all what also uh, this is something important to, to to take from this this is also very confusing because many countries believe that academia it's the it's the direct outcome of academia is innovation and it's there is a big gap between this there is a big gap yeah. between the pure academia the pure education which can be amazing and important but from that to entrepreneurship innovation there's still way to go because um taking risk is not part of academia yeah. and taking risk is, is is one of the most important parts of, of entrepreneurship yeah i think it, it i it reminds me of a joke that a kid comes from with an exam in uh, in math and everything is wrong and his father say like you didn't do anything right it's all wrong but he said yeah but it was very fast <laughs> <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> Always look at the...